Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert an image into your web page, the image is not actually laid into the page. Rather, a placeholder with a link that points to where the image is stored on the computer is inserted. If the image is stored in the correct place, it will load. If the image that you want to insert is not of the appropriate type, that's not a big problem. FrontPage can actually convert non-browser friendly graphics into a format that is web compatible. However, you may want to work on your images in a graphics application to compress the images, reduce the file size, and otherwise optimize the graphics before you bring them into FrontPage. Then, you can save it as one of the web friendly graphics types. To insert an image into your web page, click Insert in the menu bar, roll over Picture, and then click From File. You could also click the Picture button in the standard toolbar. In the Picture dialog box, simply select the picture you'd like to use. If the picture you'd like to use is not in your site's root folder, in front page 2000 you'll need to click the select a file on your computer button at the right end of the URL field. Once you do this, you can use the Windows File Navigator to find the file or picture you'd like to use. Once you select it, click OK and the picture will be inserted in your web page. In front page 2002 and 2003, if the image isn't in your root folder, simply navigate to it. And again, once you find it, select it and click Insert. When you save a document after inserting images that are not located in your site's root folder, FrontPage will offer to save the image in the Save Embedded Files dialog box. As stated before, if you insert a graphic that is not one of the web-friendly formats, FrontPage will also convert it for you. If you'd like to change the name of the file for your image, click the Rename button. To change the folder in which the image will be saved, click the Change Folder button. Then, select a new folder. Once you have the folder selected, click OK. To set this image as something that you do not want saved in your root folder, click the Set Action button and then switch the option to Do Not Save This File. If you actually want your image to display properly, this is not something you want to do. You'll want to leave this set to Save This File. When you're finished here, click OK to save your web page and to save the image into your root folder. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.